जब पहली बार मिला था ना ही टोल्ड मी से यार जस्ट यू डू द टॉकिंग वीडियो वीडियो शूट हो चुका है पहला मतलब एडिट भी हो गया है उसके बाद उसने गाना चेंज किया है समटाइम्स द बिगेस्ट द कूलेस्ट आइडियाज कॉस्ट एब्सोल्युटली नथिंग ऑडियंस बेस रानी लॉन्च एक ट्रक के पीछे डीजे सेटअप करके विसर्जन के बीच में एल्बम लॉन्च किया है वी बोथ गो टू डिटॉक्स और चिल टुगेदर वी गो टू द स्पा सो मैनेजर में क्या-क्या देखना चाहिए when you start your relationship you should see all the qualities that you see in a best friend and your uh, with your parents sync because he mentioned sync a lot yeah so be wherever you are like uh, licensing your song jo bhi kont uh, ott pe movies pe kahi bhi oh god oh my god i think i am kind of there first collaboration actually was with your mother मुझे गाली पड़ती आगे हर इंसान से गाली पड़ती थी मुझे बरसों टू बरसों That was actually a YouTube comment that I have copied. That is not an original. Barso uh, took barso. That is not an original thought. Barso lag gaye. Bo- Nahi aayega kal barso. <laughs> Something which you just wow. don't like about him. Oh, so you've just sent me an instrumental. When will you send me the full song? Where? Oh, is this all? Me <laughs> actually kuch. Itna hi kia. Oh, acha. Dosto, aaj ke hamare jo guest hain, wo one of the most streamed Indian independent pop music artist hain. Classically trained in Drupad and Rag, he has a very unique style of his music, where he blends Hindi, pop, electronic, and classical music. And with this, he is with Rahul, who he manages himself, and with his company Under the Radar, two other artists he manages himself. Rahul and with this, he manages himself. He was working in the OML artist division, and with that, he was also working in Red Bull. Let's welcome today's guest at the Music Podcast, Ritwiz and Rahul. Ritwiz and Rahul, welcome to the show. Rahul and Ritwiz. before we start the podcast we were talking offline and uh, it came across that uh, you will be the one who will be talking most je pehli baar mila tha na he told me he said yaar just you do the talking you do the talking i don't want to go anywhere i don't want to talk to anyone mujhe nahi aata ye music banana aata hai ha I I'll try to like execute an idea. That's all I do. Or कुछ नहीं. Most of people know you as a super successful artist in your own space. Uh, you have millions of views, you know, especially on both of your songs. Hmm. But if I have to ask you, who's the real Rithviz? What would you say? His name is Shivam. <laughs> Shivam. So, Shivam is basically my घर का नाम. And uh, so the people that I'm surrounded with at all times. do not refer to me as rithviz so it's a different personality only you know jo ghar se bahar nikalta hu then i realize ki okay i am now switching to uh, this persona ghar mein shivam kaun hai shivam shivam uh, ek chhota sa bachcha <laughs> jo daat khate rehta hai mom se har samay mein and i think wo it's very important for that environment to be same so shivam has to be that person in order for rithviz to be this True. person per, per, person on stage uh, with his music to so, Well, he's, he's a child, like how you were saying earlier. I think it's important to remain that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Pehli baat to kya hai ki Rahul has been a very integral part of your yeah, journey, yeah. and uh, that's why it's important to understand your perspective together. And this is the first time on a podcast we are actually having an artist and manager together. Mm. Uh, so I want to speak a little bit about that background because when we started as artist managers, we thought we are artist managers. Mm. We were all booking agents. We want to understand this entire journey. of you from shivam to ritwiz yeah. so let's start from the beginning aram se your beginning <laughs> um this is this is why i'm so happy rahul is here i'm so happy that i can just look at him and then rahul can pick up uh i i studied science in school uh till 12th standard aur uske baad i studied economics from jaihind college in bombay i didn't really know where to go with my life and career and profession while in college i managed to get myself a job at red bull as a student uh, marketing manager and i spent about a day saal working with red bull is when i discovered uh, alternative culture and independent music and uh, that was one of the best things that ever, ever happened to me um i started off in a role that was uh, college driven so we used to 
work with brands and uh, uh, organize independent uh, perform uh, artist performances at college festivals. Um, and for two years, I did that until I was uh, asked to join the artist management, artist management team thing. at uh, OML, where uh, Tej Brar was the head of the team. And uh, under him, I kind of began my journey in artist management. Uh, my flatmate was Uday Kapoor. Uh, Uday is uh, the co-founder of Azadi Records. Yeah, okay. Both of us were like, we were, we had joined OML together and we were kind of like, we also moved into the artist management team together and I was, I was asked, Tej asked me to manage his top artists in the roster. So that was Nuclea, uh, Dualist Inquiry, Anish Sood, uh, Reggae Rajas. Um, and uh, Uday uh, actually uh, was the one who signed Ritwis to OML. Okay. Yeah. That time, um, I remember hearing his music. Uh, I was really blown away, but I was not his manager. Fortunately or unfortunately, Uday quit after six months of actually signing him to OML. And uh, at that time, I think I was, like you said, right? I was a booking agent. I was. Very, I started off as a booking agent. I knew my role was that of a booking agent. Um, and Tej was the manager. Yeah. Uh, and I was learning from him at that time. And I think uh, about two years into doing that is when I actually started managing him. Uh, this was a year after you year had after, uh, yeah, yeah. joined uh, OML. 2016. And I think with him is where I first did what we call management, management. right? Uh, I think that for me was the, was the step up. He was... 19, <laughs> 18, uh, 18 or 19 <laughs> at the time. Yeah. And uh, I was 20, 24, <laughs> maybe. And uh, until then, I had, I had handled bookings and touring and, and all of that for some of the biggest, most highest touring artists in the country yeah. at that point. With him, I kind of got a chance to explore uh, further into the music side of things and how that... Uh, that is kind of, you know, structured and built. And I think, uh, yeah, I, the, 20, 20, I'll jump right in. So 2016 um, is when Rahul took over. But uske ek saal pehle tak, I, obviously, he was the star manager at that point. He's managing with, with De and Reggae Rajas, everybody. So I'm like, okay, hi, hey, Rahul, hi. <laughs> How's it going? I'm trying to talk about it. So first few shows, I remember like, uh, pehle one, one or two big shows was obviously opening for Nuclear at that time. That's when I, I think, uh, started meeting, uh, bumping into Rahul, annoying him at 6 a.m. <laughs> sound check at 6 when the festival setup is happening and I'm just bugging him. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I think at that point, um, you had come out and I think you, yeah. I think you liked one of the songs. On I that. remember posting on Facebook ah. that time that this is one of the most like game-changing <laughs> EPs I have ever heard. Uh, Which EP was that? Youth. It was called Youth. It was a four-track yeah. compilation. Yeah. Very eclectic, extremely like <laughs> unique, yeah. uh, in my opinion. Um, and I think with you know, Nuclear was the big yeah. thing at that point. Usame, uh, I think a lot of people were also kind of trying to make similar kind of music. Um, so dance music was on the rise. Bass music was on the rise. Yeah. Desi bass was the genre yeah, that Nuclear started yeah. being uh, associated with. So a lot of new, it gave birth to a lot of Desi yeah. bass artists. Yeah. Um, but you could tell that these are replicas, which True. is where he stood out completely because there was nothing like what he was doing. And I think uh, I I couldn't wrap my he head around it at first um, because it was actually very like. I mean, I, I remember telling you it was very hectic music. <laughs> like there's too much going on. But um, yeah. I think it was, it just genuinely, there was nothing else like it. And the funniest part is when I actually started managing him and I sat down with him, mm. we sat down and he said, you know, I have some 700 project files lying in my laptop. 700? Okay. <laughs> like, I mean, we had uh, the entire career's worth of music <laughs> lying in the, in the, in the system yeah. at that point. But yeah. uh, we said, okay, sit and uh, let's go through it and we'll pick. And quick context, Yampe, I think this is this is now 2016. I've uh, spent like a year. Uh, 17. Sorry, 2017. My bad. Huh? Mm. Or 2016, I was touring. I just started touring. 
आई हैड गॉन ऑन लाइक लाइक सब जगह बिन इन माय रूम ऑल माय लाइफ सडनली 2016 में आई एम डूइंग शोज बट ऑब्वियसली दिस इज प्री उड़ गए तो नो बडी न्यू एनीथिंग बट लाइक 2016 में शोज हो रहे 2017 में व्हेन राहुल टुक ओवर इज व्हेन I think shows actually. He was. I think the, the, one of the first things you did was like no shows. Abhi shows nahi karenge. We're just gonna listen to your entire bank, and I think that was so essential um, because uh, then we just got that space, and then we're like, okay, we're gonna do quality shows only, select shows, and that's when we selected Urge and Barso and like figured, okay, okay, we're gonna start from here. I actually still have this. Uh, we. I remember I used to live in Kurla at that point. Yeah. Uh, and it was just come down Pune se. उस समय जब आता था तो मेरे घर पे रहता था तो एंड आई टू शेयर विद लाइक टू थ्री अदर बॉयज ही इज कम डाउन ही सेट एंड वी हैव लिसन टू अबाउट ट्वेंटी थर्टी डेमोज उसमें से हमने आई थिंक वी पिकट आउट अबाउट फिफ्टीन ट्रैक्स एंड वी मेड टू लिस्ट साइड ए साइड बी सिंग दिस इज फर्स्ट पहले हम इस पे अटेंड मारेंगे ये बैकअप के लिए देर वॉज सेकेंड लिस्ट आई स्टिल हैव दिस Is that is there on my notepad? Uh, yeah, yeah. I have the physical notepad. You have a picture of it. You have a you have uh, it on that physical. Wow. And these were all these sare gaane were uh, they were like thirty to forty second scratches. Yeah. I actually like was shocked because this was completely different from hmm. what he yeah. had put out and what I had actually liked. But this for me was even better. Like I think I lost my shit when I heard it. I, it was so fresh. um yeah. i was excited and i think he hadn't sung on his tracks till then mm. these demos they had him singing on it okay and i didn't i i didn't i actually wasn't expecting it yeah so i was very surprised and uh, i think he at that time was just like yeah man this is what i want to do this is what i want to put out i was as surprised mujhe khud nahi pata tha ki this is something that i you know so i think we were both like 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 uh, just seeing that evolution happen in real time yeah <laughs> so it was a very interesting and time and some yeah. of this music he had written yeah. uh, so quick context he dropped out of a school yeah. in 11th standard yeah, yeah. 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 that is school where his mother was the music teacher yeah uh, she still, still is, is. Still is still she's is. the head of she's the hod but that's incredible huh? just to add that point that generally bachcha agar padhna nahi chahta hai aur maa baap ko aage bole ki yaar mera padhai mein man nahi lag raha mere ko music karna hai to 9 out of 10 homes usko padhegi Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your your story is unique that you yeah. are supported by your parents, right? Absolutely. I I think बहुत interesting conversation है ये because like you know like even in the last like five uh, six years also जब लोग पूछते हैं like this you know even I want to drop out और ये conversation always उठता है I'm just like अगर तुम मुझे पूछ रहे हो तब तो definitely school में रहो you know like you you know if you because yes. and it's okay to be at that point where you don't know what you want it's okay but अगर आप You crazy? If you're crazy like me, you then no, you have a decision. Le liya, you're deluded about it. It's, it's great. But if you're not at that point, then you should definitely finish. I, I honestly, I wish my parents were here. They would answer this. Uh, but if I can speak for them, I think I'll say that uh, you have to really just study your child. Ki, let me to see ki what that person is like really understand that child's child and uh, what the requirements of that child. I think that's what they did. They were just there. Seeing me ki what and how kya kar I think they could see your passion. Haan, that's what they also say ki tum wahi kar rahe the. You were not doing anything else, and you know, like I think very weirdly, like pehle pehle I used to be that say this. My parents also we talk about it with lot of pride ki uh, Shivam bas ghar mein rehta tha, ghar se bahar nahi nikalta tha, party party friend friends kuch nahi tha. It was just music and music only. Um, to utna input tha isliye output bhi aa raha tha True. but over time i'm also looking at it ki it's okay to also have a balanced life but then in that case ab ye bhi samjho ki fir expectation utna bhi high nahi rakh sakte kyunki aapko ek balance agar zindagi jeeni hai to then you will also get that same kind of you know uh, so what maybe i'm trying to say is ki agar aap sab chhod ke wo kar rahe ho then you know then also know that you have to sacrifice on a bunch yes. of things you know so i think my folks saw that is like they were also feeling confident but um ha huh, it's just that i just saying i also yeah. feel like they also really believed in his uh, yeah. 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 capability yeah. so and i mean yeah i think that is visible every single day like uh, yeah. that i've ever seen i've been with his parents or uh, him is that they've genuinely like they are his biggest fans uh, they are his yeah. biggest supporters the first time he played nh7 he was the first act on stage 
तो थ्री थर्टी पी एम का स्लॉट था और वेरी एपिक लाइन अप बट एट थ्री थर्टी पी एम देर वर ओनली टू पीपल इन द क्राउड हिज डैड इन इज मॉम राइट एंड एंड ही इज प्लेइंग बेस म्यूजिक I'm 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 playing all the music that I like. <laughs> yeah. um, so you know, I think yeah. it, it's I've seen it from right from there. I didn't manage him that time, but yeah. uh, we were getting to know each other at that point. And I'm just coming back to that. I I still feel like it starts with belief. Like parents, शुरू से अगर बोले बच्चों को कि okay, you can do this. True. It is possibilities हैं because that enables. वो ट्रस्ट जब आ जाता है अंदर दिन लाइक वो आई कैन डू वट एवर आई वॉन्ट एंड यू नो एंडलेस पॉसिबिलिटीज यू नो सो आई थिंक दैट्स वाई कीप टेलिंग दैन लाइक इन इट्स नॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड कि वर्क इज यस एब्सोल्युटली बट वर्क के पहले वो दैट 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 पुश दैट यू कैन डू ऑल दिस वर्क दैट आई थिंक स्टार्ट सेंस ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस इट स्टार्ट विद द पेरेंट गोइंग लाइक यू गॉट दिस यू नो सो सो कमिंग बैक टू टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन यू गाइज Listen to the track. Finalize side A, side B. Yeah. Uh, Age. Uh, AIB announced this uh, campaign that they were doing with uh, Bacardi uh, and Nuclear. So um, it was called Bacardi House Party Sessions. They said they want to find India's next big music sensation. Uh, I think it was the first of its kind IP, yeah. um, a comedy collective, um, and a and India's biggest dance music artist. coming together with bacardi who has been yeah. a big supporter of music generally Does worldwide not forget vicky huh? <laughs> vicky uh um, yeah. so uh, we felt like okay yeah. this this seems like a great place for us to send our music we sent it they loved it tanmay i still remember i think when he has heard it the first thing he has done is gone to his uh, uh, youtube no uh, he has tweeted saying go to ritesh's youtube channel and Uh, comment saying Tanmay sent me here. <laughs> Next thing we know, <laughs> suddenly his social media, my is social media is blowing up. Uh, <laughs> that was quite. Uh, I mean, we didn't expect it, um, and uh, that's when um, that's when we felt like, okay, shit, something is going to happen. Something is getting serious here, um, and uh, yeah. Tanmay basically could not stop. listening to that song i think yeah. he just he took his number has called him yeah. he's like khatam kar wo gana <laughs> so he has started finishing the song and uh, simultaneously we worked with uh, reema on uh, the music yeah, video, music video yeah. his yeah. first music video also yeah um i think the music video concept also really worked yeah yeah with people i remember seeing the concept from reema i read it and uh, i have just gotten on a call with him saying listen ye aaya hai aisa hai What do you think? He's like, I, I love the idea of <laughs> six old uncles dancing to my song. <laughs> This is just epic. Old guy took one year. He loves working on a song till the last day. Yeah, I heard okay. that. Okay, I can't imagine what that must have been like. <laughs> क्योंकि गाना ही नहीं आधा ब्रिज सेक्शन ऑफ़ उड़ गया. Video video shoot हो चुका है. पहला मतलब edit भी हो गया है. उसके बाद उसने गाना चेंज किया है. और ये मेरा पहला टाइम है मैं मेरे को खुद नहीं समझ में आ रहा आई एम लाइक कॉलिंग रीमा बोल रहा हूँ कि यार प्लीज कैन यू री एडिट शी इज लाइक अरे बट हाउ कैन यू चेंज इट नाउ जितने भी मैनेजर सुन रहे होंगे ना अभी उनकी बैंड बजने वाली है अरे राहुल ने किया था तुम क्यों नहीं कर सकते है ना दिस इज द रियल ट्रूथ आई नेवर इंजेस्टेड एनी track of it this is yep more than 24 hours in advance of the release not just a yep. track full yep. album full album and you have also changed after that huh no. never never and before that how many changes so i mean i think usually what uh, ends up happening is yeah. he reaches a point where he is happy then suddenly the next day he is not happy so then he goes into a whole <laughs> journey yep. then he yep. comes back to the original he has to yeah. cross out every single yeah. possibility to come back to yes i was right <laughs> and at this point it's now become it's reached a point of normal like i think you just knew ki okay at this point yes when he's like itna pattern ho chuka hai where we're talking in the morning i'm like ha to apple music pe hai spotify pe hai and this is it this is all, this is all we're doing all morning is it up is it up yet is it up yet so this released in 2017 
Yes. Um, yeah. November 28th, 2017 was yeah. uh, when Urgai... Six years. Yeah, Urgai yeah. came out on uh, AIB's YouTube channel. And uh, I heard uh, first few hours, there were negative comments. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the beginning, it was... Because the yeah. comedy collective was on the page. And suddenly, it was coming out. I, I, my first, because I remember Tanmay Rahul, everybody was like, oh my god, no, this is going to be a hit. Ye hit, hai, hit. Hai. And I had no I mean, koi confidence. Nahi tha. I was not walking and thinking that this will be anything. Or guy was not even the first single that we thought. So, this is all people that like were around me telling, ki, oh my god, this is going to be So, when this song goes up on YouTube, Pehle kuch ghande to just negative ki ye kya kar rahe ho. What is this? And I can't even say the things that I was reading. Uh, you can imagine, it's AIB's page. Um, <laughs> Or I think uh, dheere dheere, I think a day later, fir, the love started like taking over thoda sa. And then I was like, okay. And then we, yeah. Yeah, we hit a million plays and stuff. You Ten know. days, I think we yeah. were at a million. Um, it was, he was also prepping to play a slightly later slot at NH7 that year in 10, 12 days. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, funny thing was, uh, I think so, uh, track came out. Ten yeah. days, it's blowing up. Every day, it's, it's just going higher and higher. Uh, people are losing their collective minds on on just how catchy this song was, how they were just getting hooked. Um, and uh, I think uh, 12, day, 12 or 15 days later was NH7. And the day before that was uh, a show at a club in Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Yeah. yeah. And Jamal. nobody turned. <laughs> Oh, I now have no confidence in the first time. Now, love is coming, so I'm like, oh, okay. I think uh, this, is, this is blowing up now. So yeah. now, confidence is setting in. I'm getting ready for uh, NH7 and this, this show. I go to the Hyderabad, which no one came. So now my confidence is back to zero. And uh, next day was NH7. So then my expectations were set, ki, it's fine. It, YouTube pe numbers, hai, that doesn't mean people are going to turn up. <laughs> um, uh, so I was like, okay, reality is set And then I think at the, yeah. at the show, 5, 5 p.m.? 6, 6 p.m. he PM. went on. Yeah. I think uh, I'd never seen anybody at 6 p.m. at this stage. No one came at 6 p.m. But <clears throat> 5.30 onwards, people have just started running and coming to the electronic stage. And I was shocked that at 6 p.m., like, actually, a good 15, 20 minutes before he even went on, it was packed and beyond. There were more than 3,000, more than the capacity yeah. of that stage were there and they were waiting and... He... I'm stressed. <laughs> Backstage, uh, mom, dad and I were all as a pacing. Everyone's action, anxious. <laughs> I was walking around, stressed out. Mom was also walking, dad was We're all just like, yeah. And uh, yeah, it was, a, yeah. It was a crazy. Very... He has gone on. People have just, I think that was the first time like we saw yeah. the, the uh, what that song was going to do in the coming months, years as well. When, when I played Urgaya for the first time, I think uh, the chorus, when the whole crowd sang the chorus, I remember, I don't know, for some reason, Rahul has the most stable hands. Okay? So he's just like a very good video that was shot that we yeah. put up. And I think the last chorus when everybody sang, I remember he's going like, woo. And there was such a, uh, that resp I, I, like that, we need to watch that video. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I recorded the entire yeah. song uh, from behind him. Yeah. And uh, these three and a half, four thousand people just singing every single word. Wow. Uh, ten days after release. Ten days after release. And you know, I was surprised and you'll hear my voice in that uh, <laughs> <laughs> towards the end. I'm just like, what's going on? Tell me honestly, Rahul, while you were shooting that video, were you thinking like, you are going to be a lot of money now. I'm going to be a lot of show. Ka price <laughs> I was an employee tha. <laughs> But I did understand that he was going to make a lot of money. I had see, I'd already seen what that is with uh, yeah. Nuclear and Bajjo. You had already uh, seen yeah, that's true. So that's true. I knew what that what was coming. I just got a salary. I got a salary for three years. So I got a appraisal for that. That you did a good job. So after Rudgay, how did life took over from there? Then what was he doing in the next six months? Shows per shows, shows per shows. Yeah. One song of the song. Yep. In the start, it felt like I was opening for Urgai. I was opening for my own song. One song of the set, tha. people were just there for that song. Once Ab, more. Once more. Now, there was no DJ. First of all, he performs as a DJ. Yeah. 
and he's already like there's that means uh, that's like three times the number of songs that you are performing in <laughs> one hour yeah. that as to compared to a live act yeah usme bhi wo ye ek gana pura 3 minute bajta tha aur uske baad teen baar aur bajta tha Raul hated me. Every year, like, don't play it again. Don't play it again. Um, like, I would also give in because, like, oh, you know, like, it's just that song. He's like, no. <laughs> I remember one show, Bangalore. Me, I think I played. Uh, I played. I played old guys six, six times. So she says it was six times. <laughs> I also think that with Nuclea, you, yeah. all, all of you people, India, me, zada logon ko ye pata chala ki DJ dusron ke gaane nahi bajate. You know, to mm. us, honestly, yeah. uh, yeah. I am a Haryana. We brought up in Assam. Mm-hmm. I always thought DJ means people who play music. Mm-hmm. Creating your own music and playing your own music. Oh. I actually saw for the first time in NS7 only. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people must have because you don't play anybody else's music. You play your own music in the set. It's a it's a mix. Up in fact, at us time though I just had the one songs. I I like playing other people's uh, but up it's become like transitions to mm-hmm. my own music. But way a center apna khud ke gaane. Yeah. He loves playing other people's music. You don't uh, let them let him play. No, no, I have no problem. <laughs> It's the organizers who have to get no vex, PPL, IPRS. एक एक गाने के चक्कर में पूरा पूरा license लेना पड़ता है उनको. मुझे तो वो लोग बोलते हैं कि यार can you please omit this from the track list and yeah. we discuss it. <laughs> But how easy it is to manage an artist who is a single man show? कि concert पे अकेला perform कर रहा है. तो entourage बड़ा नहीं है. तो खर्चा बड़ा नहीं है है ना इट्स एपिक कोई सी के ऊपर डिपेंडेंसी नहीं है आई मीन बट दैट मींस आल्सो देयर इज टू मच डिपेंडेंसी ऑन हिम या वो ही नहीं वो नहीं पहुंचा तो इन डजंट इवन हैव टू सिंग हां आई मीन ही कुड सो वी जस्ट से वाओ वाओ राहुल वाज मैनेजिंग बैंड्स बिफोर मी सो यू हैव एक्चुअली सीन द यू नो अम that way yeah it's i mean in my life i actually i am a very rock uh, my go to music is rock music uh, and yeah. i actually when i started off in artist management mujhe to mera i wanted to manage rock bands mujhe karne nahi diya kisi ne aur mujhe electronic music mein dal diya to main then i just became the guy uh, the electronic music guy um uh, I it was not it was not conscious choice. So when did you leave OML and start your own company? 2019. 2019. So 2017 Urgay released. Yeah. 19 you left the company and started your own management company. Yeah. Start managing Ridwis. What are what were the releases and how did it we came to Liggy? So uh, I mean uh, after Urgay one whole year we put out nothing. Just made money. उस समय तो we just played shows yeah. On my end uh, creatively uh, block भी शुरू हो गया था because we were doing so many shows. अब गाने नहीं बन रहे थे सो वी द फर्स्ट सिक्स मंथ्स वी एंड रिलीज एनी थिंग प्रेशर बिल्ड बिल्ड हो रहा है बाहर कि ये वन हिट वंडर वो सब बातें शुरू हो गई है करेक्ट राइट एंड ऑब्वियसली दैट एक्सपेक्टेशन इज सो हाई एंड देन जीत हैपेंड आई थिंक जीत एट दैट पॉइंट वाज आल्सो लाइक सॉर्ट ऑफ अ कॉन्क्वेस्ट फॉर मी क्योंकि दैट वाज दैट फर्स्ट रिमाइंडर कि ओके व्हाई आर यू डूइंग दिस वो व्हाई क्वेश्चन पूछने लगा मैं एंड लाइक मॉम डैड के साथ भी बैठ के राहुल वी वी शुड डिस्कस कि ओके we cannot like given we have to take time mm-hmm. and i think we i think that's when you suggested that let's go on a break we went on a break 3 months into touring <laughs> yeah mid season uh, but it was very important kyunki uske baad hi then i got time to like sit on the yeah next and release. i mean the like i said right it went from 0 to 100 yeah i yeah. there was and like just headline shows right everything like every festival every uh, small towns big towns everywhere right and colleges so many college yeah. shows uh, yeah. uh, we did that year yeah um and i i can imagine there was no time to do anything else i was uh, not ready for it like i genuinely yeah. wasn't you I think you still were you done this you I had been doing this only yeah. for the last three years yeah. to mujhe to aadat thi itni touring ki i don't think isko thi yeah so <laughs> but he did, i mean he loved it i, I, I enjoyed the shows <laughs> but yeah. it was so much yeah. ki it saturate ho gaya i completely what was the most uh, uh, like interesting experience in the live shows One of the first shows we did <laughs> was that corporate show in uh, in Gurgaon. Uh, Gurgaon, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, funny! This is so good. This was before Urge. We hadn't put it out yet. This thing is happening on stage, or उन्होंने इसका DJ console stage पे नहीं दिया है. FOH पे दिया है. I'm at the. तो इसको FOH से बजा रहा है. Fortunately. 
क्योंकि ही इज नॉट यूज टू कॉर्पोरेट शोज आई थिंक फॉर आई डोंट नो हाउ आई हैड बुक दिस शो फॉर हिम एंड इट वाज बिग मनी व्हाटएवर यू नो एट फॉर दैट आई एम प्लेइंग माय मतलब आई एम 19 इज लाइक मैं तो बजाने वाला हूं ये बेस म्यूजिक उधर किसी को नहीं समझ में आने वाला था ये तो आई टोल्ड हिम आई सेड लिसन जस्ट गेट अ पेन ड्राइव विद सम बॉलीवुड म्यूजिक ले गया बैकअप लगेगा जरूर लगेगा पब्लिक को नचाना पड़ेगा इधर He wasn't very well versed with it, <laughs> but yeah. he was just like, "Leke to aage," or he had gotten some other, alagi versions. <laughs> okay, not even the originals. Space house remixes. <laughs> he has got some remixed versions of all these yeah. songs, and usne plugin kar diya, aur wo bol raha hai, "Mujhe koi idea nahi abhi kya hai." To main usko piche se bata raha hu ki ha, ye wala bata, ye wala bata. I'm like, we've all grown up with Bollywood, but for some reason. थोड़ा बैक ऑफ माई माइंड है लाइक आई फील लाइक आई हैव रियली डोंट रजिस्टर हाफ द सॉन्ग्स राहुल इज चैलमी हाँ दस बहाने इफ यू प्ले राइट नाउ आई थिंक तो राहुल एंड आई डिड अ बी टू बी वी राहुल इज ऑनेस्टली डीजाइंग दैट नाइट आई मीन आई डेंट नो हाउ टू कंट्रोल एनी थिंग एट दैट पॉइंट बट आई कुड सेलेक्ट ये दिस सॉन्ग इज दम लाइक ओके ये इसके साथ मिक्स हो जाएगा तो बोल रहे चलो ठीक है ट्राई करते हैं So Rahul is the original DJ. That is that is. Yeah, I mean, I learned from. Did you get fifty percent for that show? <laughs> Sorry. I should have. I should have. I walked into that one fully. <laughs> Post uh, all of this, and then we took a break uh, off season. This that and um, exactly a year later is when we came out uh, came back with uh, the next song, which was Jeet. Yeah. Um. This time we didn't have AIV. Uh, yeah, we. It I started on my. For us, yeah. I think the the whole thing was when Urgay came out. It it came out on a on one of the most relevant YouTube channels and in the country at the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Two million uh, engaged subscribers, um, and the right kind of audience, yeah. and promoted by the right kind of people. The second song is where we truly went independent, right? Yeah. Because I feel like that was very much like it felt like a label sort of, uh, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, But you don't own the rights to Urde. Of course we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's also a licensing kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah. But here, what, uh, what I meant is that we had to you distribute your channel, yeah. fully on our own. And uh-huh. fortunately, in the last one year, while the video rested on AIB's channel, we had the audio version of the song on uh, our channel. Yeah. And uh, but we, at that point we were we were at what I think twenty thousand subscribers. Oh, एक साल में बीस बीस पच्चीस हजार subscribers आ गए थे ऐसे मतलब we had like thousand maybe when Urgay came out. Yeah, thousand uh, said twenty thousand it went to yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so this was our base. We said okay, now we have to use this channel. We went back to Bacardi. We said please, <laughs> you know, we can do it again. <laughs> It's not just a one song. Thing. Let's let's give it a second yeah. try. <laughs> Believe in us. Yeah. Uh, we will not, you know, let you down. Or they believed in us. That's as simple yeah. as that. I very, think very they really them, yeah. so much saw that them, yeah. this is a yeah. longer association than just one song. Yeah. Um, and it was a new, it was a big deal for them to invest whatever they were going to now invest into a twenty. Thousand subscriber ch- uh, channel. Yeah, true. Uh, from a two million to a two twenty thousand, yeah. and I think uh, that is one of their biggest bets on us. It is because I mean, a Ghana hit was it. It had nothing to do with uh, me at that point. I was not established as an artist or the platform. Yeah. We were at a very small. Uh, yeah. They took a that was a risk for them. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Um, um, you know, it. I think uh, that song was yeah something that was just meant to be. It kicked off like as well. Yeah. So now we were no longer one hit Haan, wonders. <laughs> वो थोड़ा सा वो box से थोड़ा थोड़ा सा we got out. But I think we truly got out of that box with Sage. Yeah. Uh, Sage was But I think the second uh, hit. At I this think. point, I think we had really started enjoying the whole audio video yeah. side of things, right? Yeah. Just because now it was our channel, we had more involvement in the video than even the first time. Uh, and we had already started like wanting to do more in the video space. Yeah. um and i think uh, jeet was an like just perfect uh, as a music video uh, yeah. with the three girls having a blast from day one he has been wanting to be in his music video <laughs> okay to ud gaye mein to you know let him come no 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 it's not me <laughs> yes he doesn't let me he does not let uh, me <laughs> i mean firstly i mean at that point he was thoda conscious tha but then we said yeah theek hai if if there is a if there is a role that 
you can play then absolutely but let's yeah. not force fit it is what our decision was and it um, came together very nicely later because concepts were also not it's not like uh, you know it was a different it was storytelling yeah. with our music videos so it's not like the singer is singing in the yeah. music videos so kyunki concept bhi itna wildly different tha then it was like cameo kare kya should we just yeah. like show up for a bit and then it just became uh, standard that's where the cameo started pehle <laughs> video ud gaye mein to actually there is a there is a small uh, जैकेट <laughs> 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 the same jacket that he wore in a tourist episode uh, which here yeah here yeah. uh wo maine conveniently apne paas rakh liya tha uh very cool adidas <laughs> original jacket yeah, dasal baad nft kar paoge and is mere paas abhi bhi hai um but yeah i think that song kicked off as yeah. well and yeah. uh then there was no stopping right after that came sage yeah. uh Sage was where we worked with Dar for the first time. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jugad Motion Pictures, uh, Deer and Dar and Pranit, and uh, that video I think was just insane. Yeah. Like I still remember all of our minds just being blown. The yeah. tall guy, short girl, Aisha was in our video. Yeah. Um, we started in, like by now we were really enjoying this whole video process. And 2019 Liggy released. Uh, 19, yeah. yeah, so the, in fact we, that was uh, it was in the works uh, yeah. while uh, we were still at OML, mm. um, and uh, it was actually the first release post both of us moving out of OML. Also, yeah. uh, same time we uh, also uh, organized our first like mini festival music festival in his uh, uh, hometown. I mean, where he grew up, uh, Pune. Pune. Uh, you fest. का बहुत शौक था ही ऑलवेज वॉन्टेड टू डू फेस्टिवल हाउ मच मनी डिड यू लूज वी डिट एक्चुअली वी ब्रोक इवन वी ब्रोक इवन वी हैड बकाडी अगेन दे हैव जेन्यूनली लाइक बैंक रोल्ड अस दे बिन आर लेबल दैट डिन टेक आर राइट Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. So if I can say Angels. that. Angels. <laughs> They've been our angel investors yeah. with zero uh, stake. Wow. Right. Um, yeah. I wish all independent artists have one. So during this entire time, were you not fascinated by Bollywood? After that, guy, we started getting calls. Yeah. Right. Um. I said, Tanmay ke through ten calls aate the, or Tanmay. Yes, yes, yes. I will. So, <laughs> as a project, nothing came that was exciting uh-huh. enough. Uh, it wasn't that like we had no interest or he had yeah, no interest yeah. in yeah. creating. No. So I think one other thing was also that whose phone was on the phone. वो बोलता था यार उड़ गए जैसा गाना बना दे एंड आई थिंक दैट वॉज नेवर एक्साइटिंग राइट बिकॉज वाई वुड यू वाई वुड यू डू दैट अगेन इन द लास्ट टू ईयर्स मेनी लेबल्स हैव कॉल्ड बट दे आर लाइक यार दे जस्ट दे जस्ट थिंक दैट वी डोंट वॉन्ट बट दैट्स नॉट द केस वी जस्ट नेवर नीडेड टू सो इन दिस पॉडकास्ट आर यू ओपनिंग अप टू ऑल द लेबल्स एंड द प्रोड्यूसर्स एंड द फिल्म मेकर्स वी आर अवेलेबल वी आर एब्सोल्युटली ओपन डील नीड्स टू वर्क आउट That's when Salman Khan tweeted about. Yeah, ये तो बहुत है बेटा एक्चुअली. That was crazy. That was really cool. Yeah. Uh, the story is that uh, that uh, we put the video out and yeah. uh, I we got a call from Dheer yeah. saying, uh, "Listen, uh, Salman Khan wants to post this uh, video on his Instagram." <laughs> Why? <laughs> so random. I, I remember what he wrote. That was really cool. Um, do you remember the caption? Aajkal ki generation. It was more yeah. like yeah, the generation something he had written. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. That was fun. आपके लिए success का असली में मतलब क्या है? After all the cars, everything, end of the day, तो शबाशी चाहिए parents से ही ना. Like we're all doing all of that to get a very early approval from uh, the people who brought us up. I think it all connects to you know just very early sense of validation. तो अगर आपको वो मिल गया आई फील लाइक देन इट्स इट्स सच अ प्रिवलेज इट इट इज एक्सट्रीम अमाउंट ऑफ लक इसलिए आई ऑलवेज आई थिंक आई ऑलवेज काउंट माई ब्लेसिंग दैट वे कि इवन वेन यू नो कि विद नो बडी नोज कल क्या होने वाला है बट इफ यू हैव पीपल अराउंड यू हु आर लाइक 
चलो लेट्स स्टिल गिव इट अ शॉर्ट लेट्स सी लाइक व्हाट्स द हार्म दैट्स इट देन यू आई फील लाइक दैट इज माय आइडिया ऑफ सक्सेस कि यू आर वॉकिंग इन विद दैट सेंस ऑफ वो कॉन्फिडेंस आ जाती है अंदर आई डेंट नो अबाउट व्हाट इज गोना हैपन विद उड़ गए आई डेंट नो व्हाट इज बट आई न्यू कि मैं मॉम को बोल रहा हूं मामा 27 28 में भी लाइक like, 10 साल 20 साल तो रगड़ने लाइक यू नो कि नहीं होने वाले हैं लाइक दैट्स चल या वी आर योर वी आर योर बैकअप सो इन दैट सेंस व्हेन दैट ट्रस्ट इज इंस्टिल्ड तो मेरे ऊपर कोई प्रेशर नहीं है कि मुझे दो साल में प्रूव करना है या चार साल में आई ऑलरेडी प्रूव्ड इट टू देम आई डोंट नीड टू प्रूव इट टू देम आई जस्ट नीड टू डू मुझे बस काम करना है कोई लिमिट नहीं रखा है नो वन टोल्ड मी कि चार साल में नहीं होगा तो यू हैव टू डू दिस इट्स नो कंडीशन एंड योर फर्स्ट कोलैबोरेशन एक्चुअली वाज विद योर मदर या मिमी या यू वांट टू टॉक अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट योर अदर एक्सपीरियंस आई थिंक द एंटायर एल्बम आठ गाने आई थिंक वी फिनिश्ड इन 3 मंथ्स एंड when i look back at it and abhi to it's still fresh kyunki ek saal pehle hi like i was working on it so i think i'm all it, it was the most beautiful time of my life i think wo wo teen mahine working with mom i was in goa at the time and uh, mom ke uh, summer holidays chal rahe the so she had come to goa and um, we spent that first month hum log uh, we would have our evening chai us time mein we would conversate about whatever was going on with me what was going on with her और शाम में बात करते थे चाय पे रात में मैं मेलेडीज लिखने लगता था एंड द नेक्स्ट डे इज वेन वी वुड सेट इन लाइक फिगर आउट द लिरिक्स साइड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड यू नो वर्क तो दिस वाज माय मंथ विद माय मॉम एंड दैट प्रोसेस आई थिंक वाज या एंड आई यू नो द से राइट लाइक व्हेन यू आर इन दैट मोमेंट यू नेवर रियली नो कि ये एक मोमेंट है यू नो जो हर चीज रेट्रोस्पेक्ट में हम लोग को समझ में आता है वैल्यू सो एज एज टाइम इज पासिंग The, the my memory of that is getting like anyway mera kafi acha memory hai uh, that's that's dying out but the value of that time is just increasing and I, i'm scared to think like past 10 saal baad what this is going to mean to me so it was a very beautiful time i think i just hope to make music with her more aur ek acha manager kitna zaruri hai career ke liye bahut bahut hi zyada i think from day one it's been like he's my big brother that way you know so because wo personal relationship i think uh, um was the crux of it uh, at least for me or that just makes him a really good manager i don't know <laughs> so yeah. manager mein kya kya dekhna chahiye when you start your relationship um you should see all the qualities that you see in a best friend and your uh, with your parents wo i think if you if your manager is doing that which is the 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 crux of support wo dekh raha tha main bihari hu ki nahi hu Oh, the day he found out ye to bihari hai done <laughs> currently whole whole are in your team aapke team mein kaun kaun log hai uh so i mean um, there's uh, there's jeet meher uh, and who does what just so uh, jeet looks after a lot of uh, uh, day to day bookings um, scheduling everything um tour management uh, meher comes in on special projects um But more of legal contracting is that um, these two primarily uh, apart from me small close team and then there is the essential crew that travels with us for shows so Wolves uh, Naveen and his uh, lighting team um, yeah. Rishik is a yeah. is a personal favorite Rishik is a he's twenty one years he's, old he's not twenty one yeah uh, I think three three four years pehle uh, he reached out he was 18 19 something yeah very talented uh, um photographer and uh, yeah. filmmaker aspiring filmmaker yeah um yeah. and so my entire social media yeah. this one aesthetic agar aap dekhoge mere instagram mein that's all of rishik he doesn't yeah. post anybody else's uh, <laughs> photos yeah, yeah. um so yeah uh, love at cool. first sight tha काफी लॉट ऑफ लव इट फर्स्ट साइड इन माई लाइफ फॉर दैट मैटर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई सॉ राहुल ऑल्सो इज इट दी एल ऑफिस दैट इज दियस देन आई ऑल्सो फाउंड आउट अबाउट दिन वॉज लाइक ओके यू नो गॉड सो या काफी लॉट ऑफ दैट इज है गर्लफ्रेंड ओके विद दिस माई गर्लफ्रेंड इज द बिगेस्ट सपोर्टर ऑफ दीज थिंग्स योर गर्लफ्रेंड नॉट एट द मोमेंट देन शी वुड बी ओके देन शुड Okay uh, how do you promote your content we for the last i think 3 4 years really kind of just took the youtube route right like we 
Yeah. It's been organic. Go honestly. to place. I, it's been you organic. don't spend on ads and other things. We've never spent a rupee on ads. Um, Word of mouth is... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Very early on, we kind of actually realized from our YouTube stats that uh, our highest... Uh, the uh, source from which highest number of click-throughs were coming was WhatsApp. Oh, wow. Mm. Not no. Tanmay, but... <laughs> 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 also on WhatsApp. <laughs> so, yeah. actually, good that you mentioned this. One of the things that we uh, we do very subliminally, yeah. at least back then, we used to do was uh, we used to uh, we used to send our upcoming tracks to Tanmay. Aisa ki, usko chada dete. So, to wo aisa apna on his IG live, on his YouTube yeah. live, he would start teasing it, yeah. and he would just it would like get stuck in certain people's heads, and they would be like, "Ye kya gana? Ye kya gana? Ye kya gana?" Uh, and that curiosity yeah. would uh, kind of build a lot of hype before release. I think the the really nice part, and I'm really happy, it also ha- worked as promotion. But it came from a place where he's, he's such a fan. He constantly you know? uses it in all these vlogs. Yeah, yeah. We, we will, yeah. <laughs> even right now. You've released about 10-15 tracks by now, in total? Uh, about 20, 20. 20 tracks. Yeah. Out of 22 are like extremely big tracks, right? And uh, you are alone on stage. Yeah. You are a DJ. Yeah. So you don't have to necessarily play an instrument. And you make money from all sources. Yeah. And you own your music. Yeah. Uh, it's actually a dream for yeah. a lot of artists. Uh, let's assume I am a composer. I have songs. What should I do? Should I go and approach filmmakers to do songs in movies, the typical Bollywood style? Should I be independent? Mm. And uh, what should be the right way, according to you? Like, for example, someone's aspiring to be a musician. And um, there are so many things that you need to do at like the... But it we need to start looking at it, ki jitna tum kar sakte ho, jitna tum seekho ke, even for example, an aspiring musician who's trying to sell their music and playing <laughs> the role of management is a very good thing. You know, so like at a very early stage, aap jitna cover kar sakte ho apne basis. You might not know how to sell yourself, you might not know how to talk, but if you can stand on your two feet um, and say, Ki, this is this is me, this is my vision, main, main, main hi, it's an internal journey. Um, so, I think, I do support... Um, Being independent. Yeah. There are some, some specific questions. I want to know, Ki, in some words, what do you understand from these words? And Rahul can't help. I'm going to fail so hard at this. So, <laughs> Let's do this. copyright. So I think uh, we're talking about the rights to, you know, uh, we're, that's what we're mentioning. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Publishing? Yeah. Publishing is with sync deals, which um, are on the back end, whoever's contributed on the track, unka mention hota hai, uh, publishing, mein. yes. Uh, I don't know. already. Okay. Uh, master recording rights? Master recording rights, the the jo rights hoonge hamare, like, <laughs> what do you like, what? <laughs> Don't enjoy this. Don't enjoy this. Oh my god. Okay, last one. Sync. Because you mentioned sync a lot. Yeah. Jobi um, full form. Sync, sync, nice. Jobi, wherever you are like uh, licensing your song, Jobi, OTT, pe, movies, pe kai bhi. oh god. Oh my god. I think I'm kind of there. Okay. Good one, man. <laughs> what is something which you just wow. don't like about him? I hate I it when he shaves. Is. What? When you get rid- when he gets rid of his beard, it is. Uh... That's too personal. <laughs> I just said it. I, I'm that's happy. the this first was thing the I said. <laughs> <laughs> Does he have tantrums? No. Is this true? No. <laughs> <laughs> one I'm thing, trained to sin. <laughs> one thing which wow. you don't like about okay. him. Oh, I can't think of one thing. Oh, Sorry, hey, this is. <laughs> I can't. Oh, think now of one I feel thing. bad about the beard comment. <laughs> oh God! Three four years ago, if you had asked yeah. me this question, I would have had very like straight up answers. So what did you like him about? Like about him three four years back? Music <laughs> delivery. Mera khun call Yeah, yeah. Because uh, I would have to. Mujhe gali pad. Yeah, yeah. har insaan se gali padti thi mujhe. Uh, and at some point, I just accepted it. And I... uh, what's the core of artist management? A true artist manager? I think uh, it's partnership. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It yeah. is really like... Just, yeah, you hit you the know, nail on this one. Uh, yeah. no. And it's like a girlfriend in school who was giving a girlfriend. Yeah. 
I didn't have a girlfriend in school, so I started making music like that. That's how I started making music. It was very, I was a very quiet um, uh, corner child in um, school. I was talking about it. Lafanga like them. Lafanga, oh my. I, my mom <laughs> was the school teacher, I didn't do anything. Uh, what would you like to suggest to those artists and managers? How to approach this uh, situation where you are short of money? And uh, you know, how they can earn back the money? I to say this to everyone is that uh, money is not the solution to anybody's problem um, in this, right? I think that sometimes the biggest, the coolest ideas cost absolutely nothing. Odian, uh, Odian's uh, uh, Besrani launch. Ek truck ke piche, DJ set up karke, Visarjan ke beech mein album launch ke hai. Yeah. 30-40,000 rupees kharch kiye de. Right? And yeah. it was the talk of the town. There yeah. was no like, there was no mad money spent behind it. It was just pure idea and creativity and and it made noise. Yeah, for me, I I still, uh, and this is this is too funny, uh, I still don't use like flat frequency headphones and stuff to mix. I use Skull Candy ke headphones use karta as reference. Because usame mein, that's what I would consume music on like 7th standard. Mein. But that's how I was like, you know, in that time, there were earphones. Te. And aaj bhi, that just reminds me of this. This is what like, like, like equipment was low, you know. But that's where max consumption and processing, sub output, everything was on that side, you know. So, I learned how to, uh, the DIY factor hua with the, the amount of stuff that I had. With me. Like even Uddin for the matter, like I remember Bass Rani ke time, he wasn't uh, producing on uh, monitors and stuff. Mm. You know, the speakers were in the he was like, you, uh, I remember talking to him about this. And he still doesn't have a studio. Yeah. His studio is his bed. <laughs> like this. That's, that's how I am, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I would love to visit your studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is the weirdest phobia he has? Wedding shows. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh man. man. Oh, Weddings. Yeah. Weddings are a very tricky thing. Uh, it's a different world. Great yeah. money. Sometimes it could just be the worst experiences. It took me a while to understand that I'm an entertainer. Hoon. You know, it's a service to yeah. other people. Fantastic. And yeah. in this uh, live show and this experience, had you encountered a crazy fan? <laughs> crazy fan. We hired him. Yes. Huh? Oh my God, yeah, that's the story. That's the story. Please. Uh, yeah. So this kid basically used to be there at every single show. Yeah. Uh, since the age of how old was he? 16, 15, 14, 15. Her show came to me and message karta tha mujhe ki please mujhe milna hai, mujhe milna hai. Main jawab nahi deta tha. Lekin kuch na kuch karke. As usual. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I got that. <laughs> you deserve that. Actually, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but uh, he, uh, somehow he would figure out how to get backstage. Or, uh, from that early uh, age only, he would just be like, hire me. <laughs> when he was 15. Like, yeah. school to, school mein tu. I, I told him, listen. His artist dropped out of school. No, so no? this is what he asked. Yes, this you have to say Sorry. what you told him. I said, listen, first you finish school, <laughs> then you finish college. <laughs> Then you talk to me about getting a job. Tab tak main nahi hire karne wala hu. Wo school se drop out hua hai. Thik hai. Yeah. So, so when Jeet asked him, he's like, uh, his name is Jeet, by the way. Um, he he's like, uh, but Rahul, you you are you know, Ritesh is a school dropout. He's like, uh, so Rahul's like, dekho, I manage dropouts. I don't hire them. And I was like, no, he did not say that. But yeah, yeah. But uh, I mean, he uh, he was persistent. Yeah, he was very persistent. Uh, kept at it. मतलब तीन साल, चार साल, पांच साल. He didn't stop. He wow. kept at it. Yeah. Uh, and earlier this year, we actually hired him. Yeah. Uh, I think it's his dream job. <laughs> Super. Uh, and he's been working his ass off. Yeah. So yeah, crazy yeah. fan. We've converted crazy fan into. He was. He was the first fan page on Instagram. Yeah. He made the first Ritu's fan page back in the day. Yeah. And so you both go to detox or chill together? We go to the spa. <laughs> <laughs> we get couples our uh, nails yes, done. We actually we get do manicures, get the couples. pedicures. It's always the couple's room. That was a good one. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. 
बोलने के लिए इट्स इट आई एम एन आर्टिस्ट इज अ मैनेजर ऑनेस्टली इट जस्ट जस्ट नेटफ्लिक्स के लिए गाना कर लिया अमेजोन की सीरीज के लिए गाना कर लिया या कोलैबोरेशन कर लिया इंडिया में सो अभी वी जस्ट पुट आउट द डेब्यू एल्बम लास्ट ईयर द सॉफ्टमोर पे भी काम चल रहा है सेकंड एल्बम इज इन द वर्क्स ओके दैट बट दैट्स इट लाइक देयर इज वी डोंट नो एनीथिंग एल्स एंड लाइव कर रहे हो हां जी बस आर यू आल्सो ट्राइंग और डूइंग समथिंग विद एनी इंटरनेशनल आर्टिस्ट और एनी कोलैबोरेशन There are conversations. So, we were just in yeah, America right now. Yeah. Uh, I mean, with this, uh, I don't think we are even calling it an album right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there is an aspiration for it, but yeah. uh, right now we are very open-ended. This is how we keep it. Um, in the past, also, if if you've seen, so we've we've never actually gone out and actually, हमने बोला ऐसे हम we are doing an al- a EP called Ved. <laughs> Tracklist निकाल लिया है. गाने दो साल <laughs> के पीरियड में ऐसे यू हैव हिस्ट्री ऑफ टेकिंग 5 इयर्स आल्सो फॉर अस बरसो बरसो टुक बरसो टुक बरसो सॉरी दैट वाज एक्चुअली अ YouTube कमेंट दैट आई हैव कॉपीड दैट इज नॉट एन ओरिजिनल बरसो टुक बरसो दैट इज नॉट एन ओरिजिनल थॉट बरसो लग गए नहीं आएगा कल बरसो सॉरी नो ओह गॉड इन्फेक्शियस दिस कौन सा ऐसा आर्टिस्ट है इंडिया में जिसके साथ आपको काम करने का मन है आई थिंक आई वर्कड आई मीन उदयन आई थिंक वाज अ वेरी फ्रॉम अ वेरी Star, but then was actually a very early supporter also. True. So one key element, the NH7 show where my parents were the only people in the crowd. The third person that walked onto it was Udin. Oh wow! He was the third person that came um, to the show. He so he's just been such a mentor. Shuru se. Udin ka sound check khatam hua tha. Yeah. <laughs> Before he started yeah. because he was the last person to sound check. Yeah. And then he just stayed back for the I first. I slot started set. after Udin sound check. So yeah. currently you don't want to collaborate with anybody from India? Can I say that on record? Ah, no, no, so bro. I just feel like I, I just, I think. Um, I'm just pulling it. No, no, of course. But uh, um, Udin, I got a chance to work with him. That was a really big one. Recently, कोई ऐसा artist मिला इंडिया में जो लग रहा है कि यार ये बंदा future है, ये तोड़ेगा. My man is managing him currently. Dorvin, Dorvin John. He's. Uh, um, um, I think we discovered him. What? Couple of years ago. Yeah. Nine, eighteen. Nineteen, eighteen, yeah. Yeah. He's definitely the future. I think like he has such a unique sound, all in the all in its own like. Yeah. Any international artists you want to work with? Ah, uh, so many. There's there's a lot of acts. But I was very thought that I'd keep telling Rahul that hope I get it because I no not that the collaboration will happen or not. Will I be actually? Can I be a good partner? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I, I'm too much of a control <laughs> freak to like But make music. Tell me your dream. Like these are the two three names which I genuinely want to like uh, aspire Rahul. to collaborate with. Who would collaborate with Rahul? I think uh, uh, I keep talking, but so one of my favorite acts is uh, Major Lazer, and like you I did a remix of Major. Yeah, we did a remix. Um, I love Diplo. I love because uh, it's. I I think I really resonate. Ki it's celebration. You know, very celebratory that way. So my music also I feel like so I connect on that level. um um you know um from india actually a very important person would be yeah you know, man i think that would be like the biggest you know if i got a chance to just watch him work also that that itself would be yeah but any small gesture which doesn't you know fails to make you smile i think sending rahul like just between us sending rahul music is like always very exciting um and um, yeah it's his response that brings a smile to my face Oh, so you've just sent me an instrumental. When will you send me the full song? Where? Oh, is this all? Me actually, कुछ इतना ही किया. Oh, अच्छा. Not no, even no, no, like. No, that's not true. Huh? It's you know, it's like it's almost as if I'm making oh, all this music God. to win an approval from you. Oh, okay. Huh? Maybe. <laughs> so I'm going to name the people. और पार्ट ऑफ द म्यूजिक इंडस्ट्री और उनके बारे में आपको बताना है कि व्हाट डू यू वांट टू टेल देम म्यूजिक लेबल्स वी आर नॉट अपोज्ड क्योंकि आई थिंक इन अ लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स हु हैव इन द लास्ट टू इयर्स जॉइंड बंच ऑफ द मेजर्स हैव आर कमिंग टू मी एंड टेलिंग मी यार इन आवर बोर्ड मीटिंग्स दीस गाइस आर लाइक व्हेन योर नेम कम्स अप दे आर लाइक इट इज जस्ट अज्यूम दैट वी हैव नो इंटरेस्ट इन लेबल्स राइट सो That's one thing is that we are not we're open. Yeah, Good idea. We're absolutely yeah. open. Okay. Streaming platforms. We love all of them. Yeah. For me. Yeah. Radio stations. I have a bone to pick with radio stations. Is that like in my opinion, radio stations have such strong yeah. distribution. 
that they could be taste makers, they could mm. be breaking music, but instead they wait for something to blow on social yeah. media yeah. and then say we only play blockbuster hits. And I was recently on a panel with somebody who, like their reasoning was that, you know, we as radio are like the uh, final stamp of approval. I'm like, but this person has already won all, the, yeah. has created a storm, yeah. right? To, to crack it on internet, which is such a crowded place. Yeah. Ye sab jeetne ke baad, I don't think that coming it, onto radio yeah. is, is that stamp of approval anymore. Yeah. And I feel like there is so much music that could be popularized by them. Like if you look yeah. at international, look at it internationally, it is... They can break music. Taste yeah, makers, break man. a lot of songs, yeah. But in India, I have just... The funniest thing was in 2015, uh, 16, when uh, a certain radio station reached out to me um, to ask for Nuclear to create their jingle, which they do uh, once every 10 years or something, right? So uh, we were like, shit, man, this was a big deal for us, independent artists, electronic musician, this, that, whatever. First time, uh, something like this. Because it would normally just go to the uh, composers and Bollywood sort of uh, names. And I cracked a pretty good deal. But uh, I asked them, I said, listen, uh, will you also play our music? They said, no, 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 we only play uh, blockbuster hits. Mm. I'm like, you want this dude yeah. to create the jingle because you like, you know that this guy is relevant and his sound is unique and this, that, but you won't play his music. Yeah. It made no sense to me. It just did not add up. So I feel like radio stations, I really have a lot of questions for them. More okay. than things Good I want to say. What is one thing you want to change in the music industry? Rahul? What do you want to change? He has a lot. He has a lot. <laughs> I, I, there's a list because, the, yeah. This is where the podcast starts. This is where the podcast starts. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a very long list. I yeah, let's go to the long I list. No, no, let's no, 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 no. I don't need this anymore. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in uh, pricing, right? Like it's a big, big thing for me. Mm. Um, but I see a lot of people uh, just overpricing and, and not understanding that mm. that's what's going to ruin it for you. Just say, we are in the job, we are in the increment. We are in the increment. We are in increment. That's a very good point. So, man. logical pricing is. Yeah. yeah, like have good reasoning for it. it it's not mm. justified. It's not basis how many tickets you could sell. Oh, this I am so passionate about is. Uh, especially for independent uh, musicians, is uh, start karte, they'll automatically, like you want to start doing uh, buyout shows, right? Like, try to sell your tickets. True. From day one. Sell 50 tickets. It will create a core following. You will engage with them directly, you know, and you build it up dheere dheere. I feel like it just becomes more about I need to survive. I need I need my money for survival and this and that. So I'll settle for whatever that fee is. And and here's my thing to managers is work with the artist. Don't make the artist work. Right? Tum, yeah. You're just trying to churn them, you know, like keep be on the road, do this, keep releasing music. Mm. We I signed Darwin three and three and a half years ago. I just said, you, why don't you make music? without any expectation, yeah. right? Just just create. Don't write a song thinking about, like you saying, like don't write a song thinking about, I'll release it. Mm. Just make music, explore yourself, have fun. And for in three years, he has written 700 <laughs> demos, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And last, like a month and a half ago is when we started really like releasing. And like, I think he has trusted the process. Teen Zal, the expectation from management is sign. Why is something not happening? You know? Yeah. But this guy has actually like sat through for three years, is fully like motivated and has yeah. just been then I mean, I have a lot of respect for him to even just do that. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. I always just to add on top of this, like I always like this one conversation about like say a person goes to music school, for example, right? 
and someone let's say has not gone to one in like in this i always talk about how the person who like i'm not saying i'm generalizing for a reason ki the person with a degree can gain a sense of entitlement बिकॉज अब मेरे पास ये स्टैम्प अप्रूवल है अब मेरे एक्सपेक्टेशन है मुझे ये चाहिए वो चाहिए द पर्सन हुज नॉट गॉन टू स्कूल इज वॉकिंग इन विद जीरो एक्सपेक्टेशन वो बस गाने बनाना चाहता है यू नो आई एम नॉट सेइंग बोथ वांट टू बट वन हैज एक्सपेक्टेशन वन डजेंट इन इन दिस वेरी केस वन विल इंजॉय द लिटलेस्ट थिंग्स वाइल द अदर इज मिसिंग आउट ऑन यू नो एंड तभी जर्नी होती है वेन यू एवरी एवरी स्टेप इज looked at as a step uh, late bismillah khan said that um, the bigger he got the smaller he felt you know so agar the the minute you start treating yourself as something versus the art form itself to wo say wo i then people gain that sense of entitlement a lot so this is a very deep line the bigger you become the smaller you feel yeah. in general yeah what is that one question which you always want to answer but nobody asks you the why aspect of it all कोई पूछता नहीं क्यों कर रहे हो एंड आई थिंक हमारा कुछ ये कॉलोनियल हैंग ओवर है वेर वी जस्ट वॉन्ट टू लर्न द फॉर्मूला आई फाइंड इट पॉइंट लेस क्योंकि वे ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड आर्ट इज अ प्रॉब्लम यू नो यू आर सपोज टू फील इट और अगर वहां पे इफ यू फेल्ट इट देन काम खत्म यू नो तो आई आई विश पीपल आस मी मोर अबाउट वाई आई मेक वॉट आई मेक यू नो नॉट हाउ आई डू इट दे नो यू शुड इंजॉय द जर्नी डोंट थिंक द डेस्टिनेशन यू नो यू रीच टू द डेस्टिनेशन जस्ट इंजॉय द जर्नी Let's keep focus on them. Thank you so much, Rahul. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Jitesh. Ah. Thank you so much. <laughs> How lovely! This is amazing.